Right now, the NOW's Kristen Scovira joins us live from First and Gilpin, where cyclists can now trigger green lights using new heat sensing technology. That's right. Typically, a cyclist rolls up to a light, they have to dismount, and then they have to roll their bike up the sidewalk, get over to the signal, press the button, and wait for it to change. But thanks to these green pads, you got to trust me, there's a car on top of it, but it's right under there. There's a green pad at seven different locations all around Denver. They will actually trigger a camera on the other side of the street that there is a bike there. The signal will change, giving that rider an extra few seconds to make their way across the street. Now, the Denver Regional Council of Governments provided about $100,000 to install these types of cameras. Earlier today, I spoke to Nancy Kuhn with Denver Public Works, who says cyclists are not the only ones who will benefit. While it's great for bikes, it's also great for cars because the traffic flow on the main street is going to continue until um, a car or a bike is detected on the street. So it keeps traffic flowing, um, mitigates congestion, um, improves air quality. Now, the bicycle detection is part of a pilot program. They're going to try them out for about a year and see what people think. If they think they're beneficial, they might potentially add some more around Denver. So we'll just have to wait and see. I have all of the seven locations where you can find these bike pads on our website. That's the denverchannel.com forward slash the now.